Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ricky Bobby. And if you're new to the channel, Southern Ontario Palms and Tropicals, we do everything about growing palm trees up here 43 degrees north in Southern Ontario, Canada. We do reef tanks and now, for now anyway, glowfish tank. So originally this tank, this is a water box 20 cube. And it started off as a seahorse tank and the seahorse has perished. We still have no reason, I, no, we don't know why. Anyway, I took the tank down anyway, I got bored of it. And so for my kids, I set this tank up and this was easy to do. Like this is, for, we're on a well here, so we don't have to worry about chlorine or anything. Um, so we did a glowfish tank. And so what's interesting about this tank is this is probably one of the most expensive glowfish tanks on the internet. And there's a couple of reasons why. A, this is not a regular Aquion or Petco tank. It's a water box 20 cube and it's like 300 and something dollars. Can't even get it right now. I was one of the last people probably in Canada to get one, Blue Friday. Second of all, instead of using the Glowfish recommended light, I am using an AI Prime 16 HD saltwater reef tank light. I have many of them on my other reef tank. And so one thing I realized is that the spectrum of this light, the UV, the purples, the blues, the ultra blues, things like that, they are even better for this tank than the Glowfish lights. However, with the mount, you're looking at $350. So you're almost at $700 just to do this tank with the tank and the light. Um, we have a Eheim Jaeger 100 watt heater in the back set to 78 degrees. And I also have, I took the filter sock out and I'm using a filter floss cup from Kraken. Kraken Reef. We have them in my big tank as well. Let's see if I can show you guys this. There it is. Oops. There it is right there. Got some filter floss in there. Way better. And the other cool thing about this tank is the mangroves. I have four young mangroves that I sprouted from propagols in the middle chamber right now. And what they're going to do eventually is I'm going to put them probably in the back someday and convert this tank into like a semi-glowfish tank, semi-planted tank, and I'll let the glowfish kind of swim through the roots. Uh, so I'm not sure yet, but that's just where they are for now until they grow tall enough to be able to fit and, and stick out of the water and the lighting. So we have every color of the glowfish. There's a blue one on the back, and something tells me something's not right with him. He hasn't eaten in like three days. Uh, the other guys are doing awesome. We have, so yeah, we have every color pink, purple, orange, green, and blue. Here's the food I recommend. This here, this is the Glowfish branded food. These fish go nuts for this food once they realize it's in there. I've already fed these guys like an hour ago. I tried other foods. I tried North Fin. I tried Big Al staple food, so a staple food bag, a tropical food like that. The fish food of the year, North Fin. They wouldn't touch it. They wouldn't even touch it. And then I bought the Glowfish branded food. And holy moly, these guys absolutely love it and they're doing great. So it's such a simple thing, such a simple tank. I just vacuum the gravel out. Until quarry cats are available here in Canada in Glowfish, I am not putting any fish in this tank that's not a Glowfish branded fish. We're sticking to the colors. And I'll tell you, my one-year-old absolutely loves this tank. Uh, well, she's 15 months old now, but she always points, eh, eh, Daddy, I want to see that tank. So uh, it's quite interesting. Um, the colors are super bright. So, and actually, here's the other interesting thing, is that the lighting schedule I have, because it's an adjustable reef light, the lighting schedule is the same as this tank. Same light, same schedule. If you go on our Aqua Illuminations website, go on our signature, it's the David Saxby setting. It's a great setting for live corals. Uh, it changes the spectrum from sunrise to sundown and changes intensities to mimic the tropics. And as you can see in this tank, it does just a beautiful job. So once again, if you're new to the channel, because this is the first time I've ever done fresh water, I haven't done fresh water in 20 years, long time ago. These fish didn't exist then. And I know glowfish are kind of gimmicky, but I just think they're so cool and they're just so bright. And my kids absolutely enjoy them. And I'm actually enjoying them too. 
So anyway, welcome to the channel if you're new here doing the freshwater stuff. And uh, we'll be doing some more palm tree videos soon and some more reef tank stuff. But anyway, this is the most, one of the most expensive glowfish tanks probably on the internet. And all we have in it is five glowfish tetras and that's it. But I'm keeping it that way. I'm keeping it simple. I'm not going to overload it with fish. I'm just enjoying it the way it is with the five we have now. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.